we tend to think emergencies as the fire, right? And not so much as the emergency being the smoke. Cheryl Magsman studies how air pollution from wildfires is harming our health. The state is not only susceptible to local fires and local smoke, but we're downwind from fires that occur in places like California and the Pacific Northwest. Scientists look at what's known as PM 2.5, tiny particles that can be in the air even when you don't see or smell smoke. So at this point, we're not certain if PM 2.5 that comes from, let's say, a wildfire is the same that PM 2.5 on the health effects that you would get if you're exposed to emissions from a coal fire power plant. Researchers are now studying the long-term impacts of smoke on healthy people. And we know that people in Colorado love the outdoors, love to stay healthy. And right now, we don't know what that trade-off is. Can we look at cows that you know, basically kind of hang out near in their cow pen versus cows that are on the pasture and what the exposure as well as the outcome differences would be. For Early data shows something does change. Cattle exposed to more wildfire smoke on the eastern plains produce less milk. We're not concerned about the safety of the milk to drink, but we are concerned about if that's going on in cows, is there a similar process that's going on in us where our inflammation potentially would increase with exposure to wildfire smoke or PM 2.5 from other sources. John Glasgow, 9 News.